possible to use internet even if you are connected to Wi-Fi or the LAN connection? Hello and welcome to Easy Tech Geek. Today we will be fixing this issue by following simple steps. It might be 5-7 steps which you need to follow and you will definitely be able to fix the problem. So please follow me step by step carefully. All right, and please watch the whole video. So the very first thing which we will check is the proxy. Do we have any proxy in the machine or not? Sometimes it happens. So how we can do that? Here at the search bar, type control panel and open the control panel and look for network and internet. Click on that and click on internet options. Here we need to go to connections and then we need to go to LAN settings. Here, make sure you check all the automatic detect settings. It should be check mark and this one, this proxy one should be unchecked. So if it is checked or if any address is mentioned, just uncheck it and check mark the top one, the automatically detect settings and then click on OK. And see, um, I mean, we can restart the machine and see if the internet is working fine for you or not. If it's working well and good if it's not we will move to the next step which is checking the IP address or any DNS settings how we can do that is by doing a right click on the internet the network the network icon which you have at the right hand side and click on open network settings here you need to click on change adapter options and here you will find your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So if you are connected to Wi-Fi, just do a right click, go to properties, and then look for Internet Protocol version 4, and then click on properties again. Make sure here it should not have any IP addresses. It should be automatically both the options, and you should click on OK. And just restart the machine, connect to the Wi-Fi, and see if the internet is working fine for not. If it's not, we will move to the next step. In most of you, it will work. The third step which we are following is from the same window is to troubleshoot. Before Windows 10, the troubleshooters were not so much effective, but in Windows 10, especially the latest updates now these days, when you click on troubleshoot, it actually works and fixes the issue. So you can click on troubleshoot. It will start detecting the problem and you just need to click on apply fix when it is prompted to you. All right. So that's the great way to fix the issue. So this is the third step which we have followed. If it's worked, if it has worked well and good, we will move to the next step, which is network reset. So we need to reset the network and how we can do that, I'll let you know. So here in the same window, you will find this network reset option. Now, once you click on reset now, it will reset the whole internet settings and you need to connect to the internet again. I mean, you need to connect and enter the passwords again because it will reset all the settings which you have and passwords of your network. Okay, you can do that. Once the uh, reset is done, restart the machine and connect to the computer, the Wi-Fi. And let's hope for the best. If it has worked, great. If it's not, we will move to the next option, the next step, which is we are going to reset the network, the whole DNS and hold the network through command. And how we can do that is by typing CMD, then run as an administrator and say yes. So what we will do is we will reset the WinSock. Hold the adapter settings, we will reset. So here you need to type net sh space WinSock space reset. And once you enter, it will reset, uh, reset the network adapter settings and you just need to restart the machine and see if that works for you. If it doesn't work, what the next step is, we, are, we need to reset the IP address. And how we can reset the IP address is NETSH space INT space IP space reset. And hit enter, it will reset the IP address for you. 
okay and see if the internet is working fine if it's not working restart the machine and check if it's working the next step will be resetting the logs now all the internet logs which we have in the machine we can remove that and that will uh, help us to gain the access and how we can do that is by typing netsh space int space ip space reset space reset log txt and hit enter so it will reset all the logs for you and see if that internet works fine for you, for you or not if it doesn't then we will move to flush we need to flush the dns whatever the dns record which we have domain name solution which we have we need to remove we need to flush those dns and how we can do that by typing ip config space flush dns and hit enter so it has successfully flushed the dns restart the machine and check the internet make sure uh, from here you are connected to the Wi-Fi or the LAN. Second, I mean, if still it doesn't work, then we need to release the IP address. And how we can do that is by typing in the command option, IP config. In 80 of 80% 80 of the cases, most of the people have fixed the problem, but it's for other re remaining 20 people, 20 percent people. So you need to type IP config, then space release and you need to hit enter release r e l e a s e ip config for space forward slash release once you hit enter it will release the ip address and then we need to renew as well so once you hit enter it will wipe out the ip address and then we need to type ip config space forward slash renew since we have released so we need to renew it as well in in currently in my system it's uh, saying Ethernet is not connected that's why the error is coming but when you are connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet it will actually renew the IP address and release the IP address all right if it doesn't work for you the steps which we are following is now we need to update the network adapter and how we can do that by pressing window and R key in the keyboard and type DEV MGMT dot MSC and hit enter it will open up a device manager like this and here look for network adapters now here it should look like Wi-Fi if you're using Wi-Fi it should look like this uh, in your case whatever it says Wi-Fi just do a right click on it and click on update driver and search automatically for it if it says already the device driver is installed then what you can do is search for the updated drivers on windows update the moment you will do it it will take some time to update the windows it may it depends on your internet connection uh, i mean since the internet is not working it will not let you update so what you can do is pardon me you need to click on browse my drivers and look for let me pick from the list available so here we need to roll back the driver okay so you can manually connect to the internet and then update the driver that's fine else you can here you can select the rollback so let's say if the top one was not working because it has updated uh, select the second one the old one prior one and then click on next and restart the machine and see if it's working fine because um, there could be a problem when you have updated the system and since then it's not working then you can roll back the driver that's all we can do right now and more in uh, whatever the steps which I have told you almost like seven to eight steps and it will fix the problem let me know in the comment section if it if it has worked or didn't work for you if it has didn't work for you I mean if it's not worked for you I'll definitely help you I will definitely comment on it all right and please like this video and please do subscribe my channel hit that subscribe button right now and please support me. You have a wonderful day ahead. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Love you.